if you have noticed your kids are acting different these days, you are not alone. Some parents worry if the isolation measures and social distancing is doing lasting damage to kids. Health reporter Haley Hernandez has more on how all of this is impacting kids. Everything in our kids' life right now is turned upside down, so I went to a mental health expert to find out if this will have long-term damage on kids. A lot of my parents have approached me with this concern of, are my, are my kids or are my teens ruined for life because of this? And because of COVID-19 and because of the fact that they've had to be quarantined for so long and lack of social growth. Therapist Mallory Streisfield says, no, kids don't have to be impacted for long term because of this, but certain kids could feel it more than others. There's a handful of kids that could experience post-traumatic stress. There is going to be a higher risk for economically disadvantaged youth. A lot of kids take on those stressors that they normally don't take on. And that includes financial, that includes whether or not my lights are going to be kept on. Martha Montoya Sanchez works with disadvantaged kids in the Houston area. She's a student support specialist with communities and schools of Houston. I'm there to support families during the most difficult times of their lives. So this is one of the most difficult times of parents of a family's lives. From helping parents find food to making sure the students have the supplies they need, CIS is helping meet the basic needs for families, and they're busier than ever right now. We're doing weekly check-ins, um, calling every single one of our kids that are on caseload, any of our children who need any additional emotional support or parents who might need some emotional support, we're providing that as well. Montoya Sanchez is doing her part to help kids feel normal during this time. That's exactly what kids need right now, says Streisfield. And how we react is key. The more we focus on the stress, the more that our kids are going to feed off of this. If you notice behavior changes in your child, consider having them talk to someone. That would include withdrawing, isolating, getting angry fast. Seeking help early is key. We've put a list of resources up on our website. Click to Houston.com. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.